Welcome back guys. Today's Saturday. It is February the 4th. We are getting started on the house. Uh, we have a few things that we're going to be doing today. I have exciting news. We got the gray door in. Yay! We went to Ikea yesterday. Saturday. Today. No, today's not the 4th. Today is the 5th. It's Sunday. <laughs> so yesterday was the fourth. So we went to Ikea yesterday. I did take a little bit of footage with my cell phone. I will put that in here because we picked up um, some things for our closets and pantry. All right, we are at Ikea. We've got the goods. We got everything that they had in stock for our closets and pantry. We got the back loaded up. Dave's strapping it all down. That's a lot of boxes. I know. And we gotta make it all the way home, which is about... Too. Thank God I got air, air suspension at the rear of this thing. <laughs> Dave and his vehicles. But yeah, there's a few things that they are out of stock on. So of course I'll have to drive back up here when they come in stock, but we got it all loaded. We got most everything for our closets. Uh, they were out of one shelving unit and they're out of the shoe shelves that go in the closet system to put your shoes on, the shoe racks, and they're also out of some of the drawers that we're gonna put in there for our closed storage. So this is everything that we brought in yesterday. I'm not sure which one of these. I think these are all for the pantry. Yes, we once again have Ikea boxes all throughout our house, but hopefully these boxes won't last as long as the um, kitchen boxes did because that took six months for those piles of boxes to dwindle down um, but this is everything else all of these um, these are very very heavy and very very large it's the PAX system so these projects definitely will not take as long as the kitchen project did we have the pantry to do Dave's closet my closet and then um, we'll probably start the bathroom demo I would imagine we'll probably start that in a couple of weeks, um, this coming up week, we have Pedro from Lujo Flooring, um, a local flooring company coming here to give us a quote for the bathroom because they also do remodels for kitchens and baths. So once we get that quote and work out the details for that, we'll start doing the demo for the master bathroom. Okay, so the first thing I have to do with this door is get the sticker off. Um, I know I could probably leave the stickers on there, but I don't like stickers on things, so I've been taking all of them off. So I'm going to get that off, and I'm going to put the hinges on the door here and hang that up. Now Dave just needs to screw the holes to put the handle on. Look how much better it looks without the white door. Perfect. I also wanted to show you guys, I showed you in the last video that we posted that we purchased some muscle bound adhesive to put the backsplash on. We did pick up some of the tiles, not all of the tiles are in, but the bull nose tiles that we got for the edges are in. So I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of what the tiles are gonna look like for our backsplash. They're beautiful. on them they're like a pearlescent I think they're gonna be beautiful Dave's just jumping from one project to the next okay Dave's getting ready to work on the molding for the island here he's out there setting the saw up as you can see I have cleaned out the pantry we have the handles on the doors so all that's done and we have everything from the pantry sitting out here i did put some things up there because that's the only cabinet that i have that 
has space in it. So now I'm getting ready to take down these wire shelves. One of the reasons that we're taking this down is because as you can see, these are not very sturdy at all. And we also had to cut the bottom support piece, this support piece right here. We had to cut it so that they could get the flooring up underneath it, so yeah. I'll probably do like a whole video breakdown of how much everything costed for us from beginning to end once we get done with everything because we have saved lots and lots of money by doing everything ourselves. Although, you know, time is money and um, every everybody's lifestyle is different. So if you work a full-time job, it would probably take you a whole lot longer to do this than it took us. And it took us over a year. We're working at over a year now to finish the whole house. And uh, this shelving unit that we bought for this pantry at Ikea, it's called a Billy Bookshelf. It was $222. So it probably would have costed us more than $222 if we were to buy all of the lumber and all of the wood to do a whole shelving system in here. So the Billy Bookshelves, you'll see it all completed of course, but it's a good solution and a cheaper solution than overhauling a whole pantry for us. This is a pretty small pantry. I mean, I'm touching both walls. You can't see my leg, but I'm touching that wall with my leg. It's pretty small. I don't think we're gonna have to move this um, that we put our paper bags and plastic bags in, but I think the shelves end like right here because they're not going to be as deep. So I do think I'm gonna have to cover these holes but I'm pretty sure it will cover all of these holes. So I'm not gonna worry about covering these. I'm just gonna cover the ones that are on the sides. Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, February the 6th, I believe. So yesterday you saw me cover all these holes. I'm just going to sand the holes. Hopefully we have more of this paint so that I can touch those areas up and then I'm gonna start putting together the Billy bookshelves that are gonna go in this pantry. I guess you all thought that my Ikea putting together stuff days were over. No, no, not quite. The way that Ikea does their furniture because it is so versatile and you can use it in so many different ways, these bookcases come in a certain height. And then if you want them taller, they um, give you this extender piece. So this goes on top of here somehow. Um, so I need to figure out how to put this together. I have the first bookshelf done. You can see it behind me. I'm gonna try to move it in here, see what we're working with. This is not completely done yet. I don't even know if you can see me. They're not very heavy, they're just awkward. I don't have all of the shelves in here yet. Um, I don't wanna put those in until we secure them in there. Um, also, this is really tall. Like you can't even see the top of it. Let me move the camera up so you can see the top of it. Now, I cannot even reach the top. Of course, I can if I stand on my tippy toes. But there is another section that goes on top of this. So these are going to be really, really tall. I'm probably going to get baskets and stuff to put in here because I do want to have, you know, like that Instagrammable type of pantry because I am who I am. All right. I go in like this. And then up. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to be really careful so I don't scratch our floors. Ugh. <sighs> okay. Whew. So, there we go. <sighs> I think it's gonna look really good. Now I just have to get a ladder and put the top on. So, to put the top on here, you have to screw these little things in. We set this on top of here like so. First one is done. 
Now I'm gonna do the second one. Alrighty guys, it's the next day. Today is Tuesday. I don't know if you guys like seeing what I'm eating for lunch, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Today I'm not having a very healthy lunch. I just wanted to fix something that was really quick because our countertops in the kitchen are still full of everything that needs to be put in the pantry. We worked a little bit on that this morning. I will show you that, but first, here's what I'm eating. I have packaged ramen that I am eating for lunch today. Lots of carby goodness. Not very healthy at all, but I'm starving. It is pretty late in the afternoon. I just finished the video. It is uploading to YouTube right now for my Tuesday upload. So I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna start on the pantry. This is where we are at with the um, pantry. Did some work this morning. This is what we did or what Dave did. I didn't do anything. So you saw in yesterday's clips that I filmed that I have completed two of them. I don't have the shelves in them yet because we're waiting to secure them to the wall and all that good stuff before I put those in there. Dave removed the quarter round piece so that they could sit more flush against the wall and he took the multi-tool, cut that out and then the other side. So now I have to put the one that's gonna go in the center together so that we can wedge that in there. they're all in here but I am gonna let you guys go for this video because this video is probably gonna be pretty long I have already filmed a lot of footage so I'm probably gonna have to condense it down a lot so that it is a manageable video for you guys to watch we will continue the pantry in the next video and any other projects that we are doing as always, guys, if you like this content from us and you want to see more of what we're doing with the house, more of what we're doing in Florida, please follow along with us. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Follow us on Newsbreak if you aren't already. Give us a subscribe on YouTube, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.